Hey survivors, welcome back to my channel. This is Survival Specialist. You can call me Specialist for short. In this video, I wanted to quickly show you how to make storage boxes. I wanted to compare the capacity of different storage boxes and show you how to label them as well. So let's get into it right away, shall we? Alright guys, we have a few options to go through here. We have our classic wooden boxes that look like that. To be able to craft those, you need to type in furniture. So they're called wooden storage furniture and that takes 10 nails and 12 wood to make those and we have those in our inventory. We can go ahead and craft one but I have a bunch here that I got because I'm going to create a menu. So you set those down and they look like that. I quite like that because this is what we had um at the beginning of the alpha 18 and before that 17 the new ones are added later on so i kind of got used to using these and what i usually do is i get a paintbrush after i put these down and then i go click r hold down r and i get this radial mini and from that you go to materials and you can pick these different textures so this one is for storage ammo this one is for storage building supplies or tools tools, whatever uh, they mean to you. So for example, this can be guns, this can be medical cabinet. So let's go ahead and make the top one for ammunition, for example, and then click R again, hold down R, click on that, and then go to this. So for example, I would store my guns here and my ammunition in this. That's what I usually do. Now in Alpha 19, they have introduced these writable boxes writable storage boxes that you see here to get to that you have to obviously go onto your boxes click r hold r down go to shapes and then click on the second one that says writable storage box and if you put those down then the nice thing you can do is you can go over them hover over them click on click and hold down e and then go to edit and for example you can write guns in this one oh you just press escape to get out of that and then in this one you can write ammo so that's how these are used i personally prefer these because they, they just simply look better in my opinion but i can see how that's this can come in handy if you have uh if you're separating a bunch of things not just ammo but let's say you can make this um here we go, nine millimeter ammo, and then you can have one for 7.62 and one for shotgun shells, etc. So it helps to organize things even more if you have these writable storage boxes. And some things simply don't exist with this, so um, it may be difficult. Like, um, I usually use one of these for my um, electric parts and whatnot but it's just a cabinet so you can simply label that so these are even better when it comes to labeling now you can also make these um shelf looking like things and those are again if you go to your creative menu here we have if you type in furniture these will show up as well metal furniture now these shelves are useless you can't put anything on them but if you hold down r and go to the radial menu and go to shapes again you'll get a bunch of different things now we have lockers here that take some um that can be used for storage and we have iron desk so let's go ahead and, and place a locker here now the capacity of the locker is very limited this is 12 i believe whereas the capacity on these are far better and to actually craft these metal ones you need forged iron you need three forged iron to click uh, to create these and they take too much in my opinion because of that and they provide very little but if you're into aesthetics you can do that and there are a bunch of other things Things that you can choose from this like an iron desk that can also give you some storage and there's an iron table rusty iron table different shapes different sizes right and this also yeah has 12 storage units so it's not that great and for the wooden box the wooden furniture uh thing you also have cabinets here that you can use for storing so we have a um, corner cupboard here let's go ahead and place it well we don't have much corners let's go ahead and place it there and this provides a little bit more um 18 spaces for storage so you can do that if you like and you can do a bunch of these oh i'm in the wrong thing i have to go on this and then click r and then you can do um normal wooden desks and you can do wine barrels and then you got your bookcases and whatnot that you can do you go pl click r let's go advanced rotation turn this around with left clicking and then you can also 
turn it um, backwards with clicking on R or left clicking like that. Let's go ahead and place that. So you can ha you can see where I'm going with this. You can have a very nice kind of like a continued. Oh, this is upside down. <laughs> oh, let's get rid of that and then do it the proper way around. Yeah, where it says sniper and. Uh, art of mining and whatnot. So it's kind of cool to actually have these things, but they don't provide you with that much storage capacity. Like I said before, these are truly the best, either the writable storage boxes or the regular storage boxes. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope this um, is going to help you organize yourselves better because I feel organization is very helpful in seven days and it's going to be able to, uh, it's going to allow you to find things easier, sell things easier, make money, buy ammunition because of that. So it's an important aspect of survival, actually. So yeah, if you like this video, guys, go ahead and hit that like button if you've got anything to say you can comment down below if you're enjoying the content from my channel consider subscribing this is it for the moment until next time you stay alive